G'day everyone. Now it's just a summer evening here in Ireland so it's a little bit dim the lighting but I wanted to do a quick video on the um, Eremocitrus Glauca, the Australian Outback Lime. I'm growing it here on trifolate citrus rootstock and um, you can see the the bud graft right here it's a pretty ugly graft but it's doing the job and um, I just wanted to show how covered in flowers this thing is this is the first year that it's flowered and I've been waiting probably two and a half three years for this thing to flower this says 2015 so there we are it's, two th it's May 2018 now and there is the um, Aroma Citrus Glauca Australian Outback Lime tag on it so the reason why I wanted to try and grow this here is because I wanted to grow a lime and there aren't really many hardy limes out there so with the trifolate rootstock which is meant to be hardy down to something crazy like minus 30 degrees celsius the australian outback lime i know that in the desert conditions in australia you can get some pretty cold temperatures from time to time so even though they won't have snow or or really they probably won't even really have frost because it's so dry out there but they do get very cold temperatures so i thought this would be my best bet now i'm very pleased that i did choose um, this particular combination of trifolate rootstock and Australian Outback Lime because it is absolutely covered in flowers and like I said last year we didn't even get any flowers off this thing at all so this year is really decided that it's going to, to bloom and every single branch is covered in uh, blossom or, or budding flowers and I think there's a very good chance that I'm actually going to get some, some fruit off it this year it's actually quite hard to pollinate uh, because the flowers are so small so the flowers are very small here um, so what I'm sort of doing is giving them a shake like so and also I've got a, you know, a lemon flowering here a satsuma mandarin flowering here and where I can I'm taking the pollen from those and dabbing them onto uh, the stigmas of the flowers of this lime where I can. So, you know, I've probably only done about 20 out of, it looks like about a thousand flowers. Um, but that's, you know, hopefully still going to get me 20 pollinated because I'm not sure if this is self-fertile or not. Um, I've got it sitting in between two lemons that are just all in pots. I'm in an enclosed area here in my garage. Uh, that gets very very warm and it was protected from the minus uh, probably minus six degrees maybe minus five degrees it got in here in fact it might have only got down to about minus three in this garage because it adjoins the house over the last winter that we had but we did have a lot of snow so it was in dark cold conditions for quite a long time and it's still come out this year with heaps of flowers on it so I'm actually probably going to chance this at some point and plant it outside um, it'll be interesting to see how it goes. I originally did plant it outside because I didn't have this garage enclosed at the time and it basically just sat in the ground and the um, outback lime wood didn't grow at all um, but the trifolate rootstock put out about a foot of growth coming out of the, the, um, the midsection of the trunk there which I, I've obviously cut back now, but I think that it was in such a state trying to grow an island outside when it was so young, it was about a third of the size of what it is now that the rootstock decided it would try and take over. So anyway, there you go. I'll probably do another video when I have fruit on this. Um, it'll be interesting to see how big the fruit get, what they taste like, and, um, and if they are like the caviar citrus pitches that I've seen and I've also tried a couple of those finger limes when I was in Australia and also in uh, San Francisco over the last 12 months so hopefully it'll be a success 
and hopefully it actually tastes like lime. So there you have it. It's growing quite successfully here. It is indoors. It is performing this well because it is in an enclosed space with warm temperatures and uh, eventually I'll, I'll probably put it outside and do a video to see how well it grows there. Okay, thanks.